Hi, it's Mrs. Create here from createjoy.com where you can find inspiration to create joy where you live, love, and learn. Today, I'm going to walk you through our kitchen makeover from wood to white. Let's do it. Here's the listing photo of the house when we first saw it and the kitchen open to that family room really sold us. I mean, the size and the storage and all the cabinets, we really felt like we had found a hidden gem. After we lived here for a while and we were settled in, it really was a lot of tone on tone wood. I'm not really a huge fan of wood. I'm not saying that it's not pretty. I think that the, if you love wood, then the way the kitchen was, was for you. But for me, I'm just not really a big fan of wood like that. So I finally convinced Hubs that updating the floors would go really far for us now while we still live here and when we sell in the future. So once he was on board, we found an amazing um, floor refinisher company and they came out, they sanded, they applied two coats of stain and one coat of matte gloss. And because they did the entire first floor, there was really no way to stay off the floors with the little person. So we decided to stay out of the house for about five days. Plus it just made sense because there was a lot of sanding dust and fumes from the, the stains and the um, top coat. What I loved about the matte finish was even though it went on glossy, as it dried and cured, it just looked better and better. It was like the finish just kind of soaked into the floor and it's matte. So it really downplayed the smaller planks and I think it came out to a really nice finish. Once the floors were finished, we tried to make it work by finally adding knobs and pulls to the drawers, but I never really liked them. <laughs> When Hubs finally caved and we were on one accord about painting the kitchen, you know I was all over it. I sought out a contractor to paint the kitchen and another contractor to replace the countertops. Again, the marble countertops were beautiful, just not our style, and especially if we were gonna paint the cabinets white, they weren't gonna match anymore. We decided to do the laundry room. If you haven't already watched that video, you can check that out. And do the kitchen painting and the countertops at the same time. Nicholas from Granite and Marble Design in Sylvan Lake was amazing. Within five days, we had new countertops. It was like, boom, okay? The process went like this. We picked out our slab. He came out and measured. And then the guys came out. They popped off the countertops, the old ones, and popped on the new ones. And I want to say they were done within like two hours. It was really fast. While the countertops were off, we decided to go with a deeper sink in both the laundry room and in the kitchen, just so everything would feel new, new. And I think that was a really good choice. We also opted not to replace the trim since we were going to get a tile backsplash, so we didn't get the quartz up the wall. We were just gonna stick with the backsplash. The kitchen was immediately brighter with the countertops, but I probably would have waited until after the holidays to tear up the kitchen if I had been thinking straight. The first contractor we hired labeled and numbered all of the doors and drawer fronts. Those are those green tabs that you see. And then he took them to his workshop to prep them and prime them. And then it just went left. He had all these shady excuses as to why he needed more money to buy the paint and we should just pay him to finish the job even though he had not finished the job and he had a 50% down payment. It was just ridiculous. And I'm, you know what, I'm gonna have to save that story for a different day. But, whew, Hubs was able to get our doors back and I frantically started researching again another contractor who could finish the job. We were just in too deep at this point. The kitchen was mid-project and our house was completely upside down and having all of the doors off the cabinets felt like constant clutter. And not only that, we had already started to unpack a lot of the contents of the cabinets in preparation for the painting. 
So whew, I was so thankful to find Olympian painting and they were amazing. They came and got us on their, on their schedule immediately and they literally saved the day, literally. In preparation for the painting, we had to clear everything out of the cabinets, not the drawers, the drawers were able to be pulled out and just put in the other room, but all of the contents of every cabinet had to be pulled out and the steps were they needed to come out ahead of time and they prep. They like tape everything and paper off the floors and they make sure that everything is protected. So the house looks crazy for a minute, but the, the, that extra step really made a difference. We planned to stay at a hotel for two nights while the kitchen was being painted. We also had another um, painter in the house doing the walls and we were just trying to get everything done at this point because the timeline was off with the drama with the other contractors. So when I came in to check on the house, I had an allergic reaction to the paint, to the fumes. And I don't know if it was the kitchen painting fumes or just too much paint in general, but I was only in the house like 30 minutes and I started feeling lightheaded. I took a walk. And then I got violently ill at um, the restaurant I walked up to, to the point where they were ready to call EMS. So needless to say, we stayed longer than two days at the hotel. And I think that's just something that people should keep in mind if you have sensitivity to smells and or small children, you may wanna be prepared to stay outside of the house when you're getting all of these things painted because it's very, very, very strong. And there's really only so much ventilation we could have done in Michigan in the winter time. Once the painting started, the transformation was instant. Everything was bright, bright, bright and light. I loved it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh, wow. It's so pretty! First, I wanted the white subway tiles, but once the kitchen was complete, it really needed a little something to make it pop, and these hexagon tiles from Lowe's were a winner. Their shape added a subtle uniqueness without forcing a commitment to a particular color. Hubs installed the new gold lights the night before the tile installation. Y'all, lights are room jewelry. The backsplash made the kitchen feel finished. Oh, and here's one other little thing. When it was time to put our faucet back in, and it was a newer faucet, we had recently bought that one, um, maybe like a year before, it had some rusting. <laughs> so I got to upgrade the faucet to a touchless. And that was not on our original list, but mama gonna get what she wants, one way or the other. So touchless faucet for the win. Here's the after, I'm still in love. <laughs> this kitchen creates so much joy. Thanks for watching. Please share your questions and comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, create joy.